Hi, this is Claire and this is the first tutorial in a set about rotations. So I have four shapes here. This one here is an isosceles trapezium. This is an equilateral triangle, a square and a circle. So there are four different shapes. So what I'm going to talk about here is the order of rotational symmetry. So if we look at the trapezium for a start, if I find its center, which is about here, how many times, if I rotate it around in 360 degrees, will it be in exactly the same position as when it started? So watch carefully. 90 degrees, 180, 270, 360. Only one time. So it has the order of rotational symmetry of one. What about the equilateral triangle? Let's see if I can find exactly the centre there. It's usually where the, um, the centre lines cross in the middle. That's how you find it. The midpoint to the opposite vertex. So here we are. Here's the top. Let's label it T. Okay, one, two, and three, it's back to its starting position. So it has the order of rotational symmetry of three. Right, the next one, a square. I have labeled T at the top. I put my pencil in. One, two, three, and four. So it has the order of rotational symmetry of four. What about the circle? Here's my circle. Put the pencil right in the center and I've got T right at the top. So let's rotate it round. Well actually it seems to be exactly the same size and shape no matter where I put it. So it actually has an infinite number of rotational symmetry positions. So we say its order of rotational symmetry is infinite. Okay, well what about the axes of symmetry? An axis of symmetry is simply if I drew the number of lines I can draw through this shape where it will be exactly the same size and shape on both sides. So it's like a mirror. If I put a line right through the middle of my trapezium here, I can see that it's exactly the same on both sides. But if I put the line across here like a diagonal, it's not the same. Or here, or horizontal. So it only has one axis of symmetry. And it's the midpoint of the base joined with the midpoint of the top. So it has one axis of symmetry. What about the equilateral triangle. So if I join the midpoint of each base with the opposite vertex, I can see that in each case, I could use that as a mirror and both sides are exactly the same. So it has three axes of symmetry. So, the equilateral triangle has three axes of symmetry. What about the square? Hmm. So, I can draw through vertically through the top, and it's the same on both sides. I can draw horizontally, and it's the same through both sides, and both diagonals. So that's four. It has four axes of symmetry. And as long as I go through the centre with my circle, it doesn't matter where I draw that line, it's going to be exactly the same on both sides. So it has an infinite number of axes of symmetry. So it seems there is a connection between the axes of symmetry and the order of rotational symmetry. Okay, thank you for your attention and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.